This is Mark O'Brien, one of the co-founders of Project Libre. I recently released a video on work breakdown structures known as WBS. This video is about the complementary resource breakdown structure referred ongoing as RBS. The WBS breaks down a project into successively more detailed levels of tasks and work. I refer you, refer you back to the view the WBS video and how the costs roll up and can be an important tool for managing projects and variants within projects. The RBS is also an important tool for managing projects. It pivots the view and perspective from the performance of the project based on work, from a summary to whatever level of detail desired, down to the elemental work packages. The RBS pivots this to oversight, management, and evaluation of the project based on the resources on the project. It once again is structured as needed and probably more of an internal management perspective as the WBS can be used to communicate with stakeholders or customers, potentially. The RBS gives equivalent insight into performance, but based on the resources, cascading from overall resource summary and broken down as appropriate to certain levels of detail. This could be, as in this example, as you will see, resources based on groups, so we can view the performance of, let's say, software teams, testing teams, marketing teams, it also allows a similar analysis of the plan cost or baseline cost versus the actual cost with the variance. It is another important tool for the project managers and executives to assess the execution of the plan and potential variance. It can be a very effective way to isolate where scope may have been misunderstood, inadequately planned, or execution is lagging. Let's take a look at how this is done in Project Libre. On the menu bar, Let's click over on the resource menu. And uh, if you've been using Project Libre, you'll notice the icons change when I do so. And let's take a look at the resource pool. I've entered a series of resources here. And to explain, <clears throat> there's no indentation structure here. So similar to the work breakdown structure, it does not summarize up uh, either for cost or schedule or planned and variances, etc. So we'll do that. I've also entered an RBS code structure here. That's less to do with Project Libre and more to do if you're importing or integrating, for instance, with a cost accounting system. And on these resources, we have a work type for the resources. I've put rates in for them. Cost per use <clears throat> is interesting, normally associated with material resources. But for instance, if Connor has a cost per use for maybe transportation, you can put that in there. And you can also accrue costs. And this is important in the resource breakdown structure, prorated across the duration of the activity or in fact uh, front-loaded at the start of the activity or uh, numerous other ways, but for instance at the end of the activity when it finishes and we can have different calendars on the different resources. If I click on the RBS, you'll see that it's flat. There are costs in here, but there's no budget and there's no variance established there uh, because we haven't set the indentation structure. If I go back to the RBS itself, I can highlight a series of tasks. So I'll highlight everything under the summary structure and indent that. And as you can see, I've actually established a summary structure there. I've established a few teams. Connor, Kylie, and Olivia, our intern, are on the software development team. I'll indent them. And again, a substructure has been established. And Mindy and Mark the second are on the test team. Indent them. And then Taylor, Monica, and Kelsey are on the marketing team. And again, if I look at the RBS, you can see that the structure has now, in fact, been established. If I go back to the Gantt chart, there's no budget here, as you can see. It's still zero, and then the cost does roll up from Connor to software development to summary, etc., with Kylie and Olivia, etc., so that you can summarize the structures, but <clears throat> there's no budget and no variance there. So let me go back to the Gantt chart, and I will baseline this. You can see there's no baseline there. I'll say save baseline. You have the option to do it for the entire project, selected tasks. And if, if in fact, <clears throat> over your time, your scope of work changes, you can baseline it again with baselines one through 10. But let me just baseline that, and you can see that a bar has been established. With this baseline established, let's go back over and take a look at the resource breakdown structure. As you can see, we do now, have, in fact, have a, a budget and a cost for each. And as they summary up, 44660 is both the scheduled cost 
uh, with a budget cost and a current scheduled cost with that with zero deviation. If we do go back to the Gantt chart, we can change durations a number of ways. But let me go into design and say design is 15 days long, and you can see that that duration on the bar changes. I can also come over to testing, for instance, and just extend that bar by grabbing the end of it and extending it. So what we've done here, and since I've modified these sections, let me summarize hardware and the rollout plan. Okay, And if I go back to the resource breakdown structure, not only are those other areas summarize, but you can see there's a deviation. The budget was 16000 for this for Connor, and the current cost is 20000 Olivia, 6270 Mindy was 5000 and roughly now it's, it's 8000 So you can see as it rolls up to the test team, there's a deviation. Same with the software development team. We have a difference between the budget and the cost, and both of those teams roll up with a delta for the entire project summary. The RBS, or Resource Breakdown Structure, is an important tool for managing projects. We recommend the utilization of both the resource breakdown and work breakdown structures in managing your projects and measuring the performance, progress, and variance. The WBS is an excellent tool for sharing with stakeholders and potentially customers, where the RBS is more for internal analysis and decision making. We hope this was a helpful video and ask for your help to promote this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also be active with Project Libre on social media. We are at hashtag Project Libre on Twitter and also have a Facebook account where you can find links on our homepage along with social media. Please promote us in the project management groups and geographies. There are many PMI chapters and project management uh, meetups. The project management team works very hard to provide Project Libre for free and open source. Your assistance in promoting is very large. So thank you very much. Click back for, check back for more videos. You can join the community on our homepage, www.projectlibre.com. Or if you scroll to the bottom, you can see in the various locales around the world how many downloads are there. You can also ask, access our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, Twitter, or email us. Thank you very much, and we hope this was helpful.